Good morning children. Hope you are all good. Last class children, we had studied about learning to do simple science experiments. And you also learnt to make your own book of science by writing down those experiments. I hope you all have done your work. Today children, we will be doing the second part of your own book of science. Today's lesson will teach you how to become young scientists and wonder and learn about things happening around you. We call this doing your research work. So, research work means you're questioning and studying why things are happening around you. So, let us begin. As I told you children, we will be learning to find out why things happen around us. And that's why the topic's name is Puzzles in your surroundings. Surroundings means the place around you. And puzzles means questions. So why are things happening around you? In that, the topic that I will be teaching you is Why does it hail? Even in summer. What is the meaning of summer children? Summer means hot season. Garmi ka mausam. And hail means hailstones. Which means small hard balls of ice. Can you see in the picture? Those are hail or hailstones. They are nothing but balls of ice. Just like we get rain children, sometimes along with the rain, we get these hailstones falling. So the question is, why does it hail even in summer? If it is ice children, ice falls in winter season in the form of snow. But today's puzzle is why in the summer? So let's find out. You can read along with me children. We feel very hot in summer. The sun shines brightly and the temperature is high. And then suddenly there are clouds in the sky and it starts raining. Not just water but even small balls of ice. We say... It has started hailing. The small balls of ice are called hailstones. Why does it hail in the hot summer season? So children, in summer, as we know, it's hot season. That means it is very hot. The sun shines very brightly and the temperature will be high. Suddenly, clouds appear in the sky and it starts raining. But it doesn't rain, just water. Along with the water in the rain, there are also small balls of ice that are falling. This we call as 
hailing in summer and the small balls of ice are called as hailstones so children today's puzzle is why does it hail in hot summer season let's find out read children as we move up from the land the temperature begins to fall up in the sky it is very cold even in the hot season you know that there are water particles in the clouds that we see in the sky very high up in the sky the water particles in the clouds turn into little bits of ice so children over here on earth on the land where we stay in the summer it is very hot but in the same summer season as we go higher so near the clouds in the sky it is not hot it is still very cold and clouds are made up of water so because it is cold up the water in the clouds turns to ice just like when i keep water into a cold freezer what happens the water turns to ice so children think about my clouds as a freezer and the water in the clouds are becoming ice because it is cold up Let's read the next paragraph. Sometimes there are strong winds in the clouds. They push these little bits of ice upward. So they do not fall to the ground. They go up and collect more water particles which freeze on to them. Thus the tiny balls get bigger and bigger and they turn into hailstones the heavy hailstones then fall to the ground in the form of a shower so children just like i told you what happens in the clouds water turns to ice but sometimes the wind is very strong and instead of the ice falling down the wind pushes the ice higher and higher upwards as they go higher they take more water from the clouds and again they turn back into ice so the more water they take the more they will freeze and the bigger ice cubes i will get so the size of the ice balls now becomes big and then these are called as hailstones when they are heavy the hailstones then fall on the ground along with rain So this is how hailstones are formed. Isn't that interesting children? So this is how we learn to inquire. We learn to find out why things are happening around us. Very tiny hailstones melt before they reach the ground they turn into raindrops but some hailstones 
reach the ground before they melt. A light shower of hail can be great fun. But a hailstorm can cause great damage to crops, plants and animals. So children, if the hailstones are still tiny, by the time they reach the ground, with the hot heat near the ground, they melt to water. Just like if I remove ice from the freezer and keep it outside in hot summer, what will happen to the ice? The ice will melt into water. Sara baraf pani ban jata hai. So just like that, if it's a tiny hailstone, before it reaches the ground, with the hot temperature, the hailstone melts into water and falls on the ground like rain water. But children, some very big hailstones don't melt. So then will they become water? No, then they'll fall on the ground just like ice cubes and that is the time we call them as hailstones. Now children, if it is just a slight rain along with some tiny hailstones, you can have a lot of fun playing in the rain because the hailstones are very tiny. So they will not hurt you. Just like the boy is playing in the garden with the hailstones. But children, if they are very large hailstones and are falling with a lot of force, then it can be dangerous. Can you look at that car in the picture? Look at what has happened to the glass of the car. It's completely broken. That shows that the hailstones were so big and they were hitting it with so much of force that it could break the glass of the car. So that time it is dangerous for us to be out. Not only that children, even plants, crops, and animals get affected with these big hailstones. Look at the picture of the plants and crops, how they are all damaged because of heavy hailstones. So children, can you tell me when are hailstones fun? When it is a light shower of hail. And when are they harmful? When it is a heavy force of hailstones falling. I hope this is clear children. So today we have studied why hailstones fall in summer and what are good hailstones and bad hailstones. Let us see an example of a hailstorm in our state of Maharashtra. So children, read along with me. Maharashtra was hit by a series of hailstorms in 2014. The hailstorms devastated Thousands of acres of standing crops. Fruit crops were ruined. Birds and animals were killed and injured in large numbers. Farmers suffered heavy losses. It was a great natural calamity. So children, in the year 2014, Maharashtra had many hailstorms. 
and they were big hailstorms. So they destroyed all the crops in the fields. Even many birds and animals got injured with the hailstones and some even died. Because the crops were all destroyed in the fields, all the farmers lost all their crops and so they did not make any money. It was a great natural calamity. Natural calamity, natural is because it is happening naturally. Man is not producing it. And calamity means a disaster like earthquake, volcano, etc. So this was one example of a bad hailstorm in Maharashtra. So children, just like I taught you how to solve the puzzle of why hailstorms fall in summer, you also have to make other puzzles and solve those puzzles. So, you have to note down at least 10 such questions on the basis of your observation of things and events in your surroundings. So children, anything that you see around you and you want to know why it is happening, note down at least 10 such things that are happening and the questions why they are happening. A few examples are given below. First example, where do flowers get their color from? Second example, why are leaves green? Third example, why does chopping an onion make you cry? Chopping an onion means cutting an onion. So you must have seen whenever mummy cuts onions, her eyes start watering. It looks like she's crying. So why does that happen? These are few examples. You can think of many more things that are happening around you and find out why they are happening. Note each question on a separate new page in your book of science. Draw suitable pictures or paste related photographs on that page. So children, on one page, you will write down one question and the answer to that question that you have found out. You can also stick pictures or do drawings to show your answers. Try to find the answers to your questions with the help of your parents, teachers or friends. So children, to add extra help to you, you can also ask your parents or your friends. They may give you some more points. Make use of science journals and reference books to find the answers. You can search in some science books or other books like encyclopedias, tell me how books or tell me why books or even newspapers to get your answers. You can also find your answers on Google on the internet. But with the permission and guidance of your parents. Browse through the informative websites. So children, ask your parents questions 
take their help and also when you are using the internet ask mummy or daddy and also help them to guide you in this you may find some of the answers you need in your textbooks or in other informative books note down the answers on the relevant pages so whatever and wherever you find the answers see to it that the answer is written on the same page that your question is there so children do this as your home activity so this is your activity where you are going to make your own book of science your book will contain the activity from the last class where we studied how to do simple science experiments at home and today's class where you studied how to answer questions to puzzles around you collect your experiments and your answers to your questions and put them all together in your own book of science you can also make a cover page and write down science notebook or own book of science just like the picture can you see how this child has drawn and colored so beautifully on his own book of science so children it's time to be creative and make a wonderful book of science do complete your book of science by writing down both your simple home experiments and your puzzles around you and decorate your book with drawings and pictures do a good job my dear children thank you and have a nice day